Hi there, today we're unboxing a Dell laptop. So let's have a quick look around the packaging. It's very plain, nothing amazing on there. So let's begin to open it up. I have the spec scrolling up the screen, but just to give you a, a brief summary, we've got a 15.6 inch display on this one. It's got an i7 processor, which is 8th generation, we've got 16 gig of RAM on there, you've got a 2 terabyte hard disk, and also 256 gig of solid state memory. Okay, so let's take out the bits and pieces. We've got the laptop first of all, nice and securely packaged. Got some instructions, it looks like. Power cable and a power adapter. Okay, that's all we have in the packaging. First of all, let's see what this is. Quick start guide, safety and regulatory information. It's fine. Power cable. It's fine. Good solid build to it. and the actual power adapter at the end. So that's all, seems good. Nothing untoward, really. And now what we're really here to see, which is the laptop. So let's just open that up first of all. We'll have a look around it. Wow, very nice, sleek look to it. Let's take the screen protector off. Okay. So let's have a little little look. So the keyboard first of all. Nice feel to the keys. I've got another Dell laptop as well, so that was quite nice. Um, rigidity is quite solid, you know this side of it, the screen. Yep, build doesn't seem too bad see what we have around so we've got the actual input for power we've got a I think it's type C USB connector uh, HDMI Ethernet port and two USB and then we've got headphone jack as well okay come around this side SD card reader USB slot and if you need to lock it up you've got that little tag where you can just get um, a lock to do that okay these look like speakers and looks like a vent just there for it so yeah bit of a weight to it but feels good let's open it up and from what I remember it's actually got um, finger scanning, so it will scan it just to be able to turn it on if you wanted to turn that on. So it's quite a nice feature to have. Okay, so let's plug the power in. So I've plugged it in at the other end. Very simple to do, obviously. Straightforward, standard laptop stuff. Okay, powering on now. Let's see if we can go through the setup. Hi there. I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. You can use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the sound icon. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to enable Narrator. 
Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. Your region is set to the United States. Is that right? Okay, so we'll select United Kingdom. Your keyboard is set to United Kingdom. Yep, that's fine. Do you also type with another keyboard layout? We'll skip that one. Next up, the legal stuff. Yep, we'll accept that. Now let's get you connected to a network. Okay. How about me... the first one on the list? Want to use that one? Let me connect to that. Okay, so the Wi-Fi is connected now. Let's go to the next stage. All right, you're connected. Now we'll check for any updates. Type your email address or phone number, then follow the instructions to sign in. Let's get an account going for you. You can use your own email address, or we can help you create a new one. Type your email address or phone number, then follow the instructions. Okay, I'm going to create an offline account. You're about to set up an offline account, but I wanted to make sure you know, Windows works way better with a... Oh. Type what you want to name your account. Geek Street, next to that. Okay, now type a password for your account. Password one, two, three. And one more time to make sure we've got it right. Great, now with an offline account, if you forget your password, the only way to use Windows Hello to unlock your PC with just your fingerprint. It's not only faster, it's more secure than a password. So that's Want to quite set good. That up now? We'll skip that one for now. Hey, look, it's the me part of setup. Can I have permission to use the info I need to do my best work? I'll say no to that These for now. These are the settings Microsoft recommends. Go ahead and review them and select accept when you're ready. Your device manufacturer would like your contact info to send you updates and such. Okay, let me go next. Okay, that's the last step. We need to get a few more things polished up for you and Windows will be all yours. Looking forward to helping out. Okay, so the laptop's ready now. So first thing we'll do, we're just gonna power it down. So reason being, let's do a test of um, how quickly it starts up. It's always an interesting one to see, considering it's got normal hard disk and a solid state hard disk. Okay, so now the laptop's powered off, let's power it on. See how quickly it gets to the actual login screen. So that was pretty fast. Let's log in as quickly as possible. Okay. And let's quickly jump on the internet. Okay, anything, I'm just clicking. It's pretty quick. Very impressed. Let me just click something randomly. Yeah, very quick as you can see from startup. Very usable straight away. Okay, so the next thing to check is the rigidity of the laptop, just to show. 
there is a little bit of flex in there just to show that and I did show it previously but look, it's quite quite solid when it's like that supportability wise it's very good but as with most laptops you'll want to protect it and make sure it doesn't get damaged by putting it in some sort of padded case or padded rucksack to keep it safe so build quality does seem quite good so which is nice okay so the next thing we're going to have a look at is the actual keyboard so nice resting positions a good ample space here you know to rest your two hands on and just to be able to type typing itself nice feel to the keyboard as you're typing it's so very good another thing to mention is the function keys so you've got a function key there and other function options here but as well as that you've got a um, function lock right let's zoom in a little bit you can just see it there it's function locks there so if I hold on to function hit lock and I can do other options like for instance mute the volume um, decrease the volume increase the volume previous track play pause next track um, show on another device you know like a monitor search screen brightness just here and Wi-Fi so very good for that okay next thing to show is a trackpad on there nice comfortable feel to it got left click here right click here you can actually click while you're on there as well so you can click here for instance and it will open up very comfortable smooth smooth motion to it and very easy to use so let me just click here for example I can just click in the middle and it's opened I can right click like so and a nice good good solid feel when you're clicking it's a nice nice build there for both keyboard and trackpad okay so the next test we're going to do is we're going to plug in an ethernet cable and let's check the speed of the network connection so just there and if I position the laptop like so and see we've got a an ethernet connection if I click on there change adapter settings and then we just right click here and there you go so I've got a, a one gig switch in the background but it's just connecting at 100 meg so a little bit disappointing really for this day and age it should one gig connection should be standard shouldn't be giving 100 meg connections anymore so for my purpose it would be a little bit disappointing because a lot of YouTube videos I do um, I've got a server and I transfer files between laptop and server and I prefer if it was um, a one gig network card so not the end of the world but still disappointing okay for our next test what we're gonna do we're gonna create a high def movie in movie maker so this is um, a 12 minute video and let me just select for high definition display and hit save let's see how long this takes so looking at the time 7.15 on there incorrect time we'll just leave it at that for now just to see how long it takes already shooting along 5% okay there you go 720 in the corner so about five minutes to complete that very impressive one of the older laptops I have that would have been about an hour so that's really good okay let's play the video we've just created just to see if there's any stutter or anything like that with the video 
Hi there, today I'm unboxing a 7 inch display by GeekPie. So, it's actually screen resolution is 1024 by 600. Like I say, it is a monitor, and there you go, there's a Chromecast plugged in. Make your own sort of case and you know, your own sort of looks very good very smooth motion other thing to mention is the sound quality the sound quality seems very very good very crystal clear so you can turn it up um, build a panel on a wall and just very good no distortion in the sound and there you go picture quality is nice and smooth So yeah, very good. So it's converted quite well and no issues with that. Okay, so I've plugged in the power, a HDMI, Ethernet and USB uh, keyboard and mouse and just got it going onto a screen. Okay, so next we're gonna perform a benchmark test. And just before we do that, let's just open up Task Manager, Performance tab, so just so we can see the actual utilization of the system when this is running. So first of all, let's run the OpenGL test. So there you can see speed of the CPU and the utilization just there. Nothing's really hitting high thresholds on anything so that's good look at that that's quite low as well i'll move this a bit more to the side just so you can see the graphics in the background there you go 3.92 gigahertz barely pushing the machine to be quite frank Memory wise as well, hardly utilized. But the fan, I notice on the, on the laptop's going off, so very noisy at the moment. Okay, so there you go. Barely, barely hit any, any thresholds on this. Okay, so the next one we're gonna do, um, oh, sorry, before we do anything, this is the ranking here at the side. And you can see it's come in fifth place and you're seeing 54.56 frames per second on this so not bad actually pretty impressive uh, next test let's just go for the CPU test let's see how it does with that quickly open it there you go Hitting a hundred percent speed, two point five five gigahertz, but going very fast. Very impressive. Should be interested to see how this compares to the rankings over here at the side. There you go, just completed. And ranking wise, it's come out fifth. The fastest one here is 1,279, and this one comes in at 601. Very acceptable figure, um, performance wise, yeah, very good. Okay, so we've seen the unboxing of the laptop. We've seen the initial setup of the laptop. You've seen how easy and quick it is to do. We've checked the actual build quality. Build quality is very nice. Uh, a nice keyboard, 
and a nice trackpad on there, very easy to use. Screen wise, the picture quality is very clear. Um, finish wise, it's not glossy, it's got a, a matte finish to it, so there's less glare on there. Connectivity wise, you've got obviously a type C connector just there. Let me turn it around so you can see that. So it's just there, the type C. You've got your HDMI, ethernet. Nice having the ethernet obviously, but disappointed that connectivity speed is just 100 meg and not a gig connection. You've got a, a number of uh, e uh, sorry USB ports, which is good. Uh, headphone jack there as well, which is good. And obviously uh, the SD card reader. So excellent. Now, one of the things that the laptop hasn't got is a, a DVD-ROM or a CD-ROM. So obviously, if you're looking for something with that, you'd have to buy an external device. Also, you've seen the benchmark performance on this, so uh, pretty good. Uh, I created a YouTube video in high def. That was very quick in being created. Benchmark tests are showing good results there, so performance-wise, it is very good. Nice to have the functionality of the fingerprint startup. So that's quite a useful one. I've not demonstrated that, not really looking to use anything like that, but be a good one to have. Hope this has helped anyone thinking of purchasing this laptop. Details are in the description below. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe.